Welcome back. We are here on eToro. This is going to be my daily forecast for the commodities market and the precious metals market uh, for first day, February 4th, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index before going to oil, natural gas, and so on. As you can see, we continue this rally, but it looks like we're running out of steam. Here at the top of the bullish band, we are most likely going to drop towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly 90.40. If we break that, we're going to the bottom of the bullish band, of, and that is at, at 89.71. And of course, that will have high, major implications for, for example, gold, silver, um, and other commodities and indices and stocks as well. There's a negative correlation between uh, US dollar index and the commodities, precious metals, and so on. So at this point, Technical indicators are still looking fairly bullish. We're getting to the edge of being overbought. Uh, we look at the four hour chart, one hour chart to see when this basically uh, breaks down. But we have pierced the top of the bullish band. And usually what happens is that we fall either towards the middle or to the bottom. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we have crossed, uh, we have rallied all the way up to 56.11. Our trading now at 55.59, and we are way outside here of the Bollinger Band. We are significantly overbought, and uh, technical indicators are still very bullish. For one reason or another, purely speculation, I think, um, we are just rallying and continue rallying. 20 exponential is significant support. Getting down to the 20 is a major buying opportunity uh, at this point. You can see it here, 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 and so on and so on. So we haven't tested it several times, but every time we have tested it, it basically bounced from the 20 exponential. At the moment, most likely we're heading all the way up to $60. Um, so yes, first period here, this rally here was uh, basically vaccine news. Next was stimulus, and then there was OPEC news, and now, yes, there's additional stimulus news and so on. Very a lot, a lot of optimism, but seriously, we are the world economy is not at the same level as it was just prior, half year, one year prior to the coronavirus. And that's where price levels of oil are at this point. Demand is not there. Of course, um, supply can dwindle and and that can pressure this price up in the short term. But um, we are looking for quite a big move when we get to the 60 price level. Now it's probably going to where we're going to see this tumble towards 50 or probably to 45. And then we're going to trade in between in that price range. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we rallied way above the Bollinger Band yesterday, broke down, and today we tried to rally and then broke down again and traded at 2.74. At this point, technical indicators are showing signs of weakness. CCI is turning around very aggressively. RSI is flat, and other technical indicators are technically all uh, are still bullish at this point. But I would not be surprised if we roll over here and head to back towards the 200 moving average. Of course, if weather conditions get worse or they continue for a very long time and there's a lack of supply, then we could see this market absolutely skyrocket. But um, it looks like every time we get outside of the Bollinger Band, for example, here, we break down. We see it here, we break down. Um, we can also go over here, you see also a breakdown. There are occasional where we don't have this massive breakdown, for example, here. It is a breakdown, but not massive. So, yes, be aware, usually when it goes outside, it has a breakdown, at least towards the middle of the bullish band or to the bottom right here above the 200 moving average. So let's look at copper. So copper is starting to look very interesting. We have broken the 50 moving average, trading right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are turning around here for copper. CCI is turning it to, towards zero. Um, uh, the RSI is also becoming more, not really flat at this point. Uh, Stochastic is flat and uh, MACD is showing sign of basically becoming flat. So we could see a turnaround here. So 
we could basically head towards the middle of the bullish band, uh, 3.6, and then to the top at 3.7. That is most likely where we're going at this point. If you can see that the US dollar starts depreciating, that would be that will be a very bullish sign for copper. So let's look at gold. So gold is still in the middle of nowhere, or not really in the middle of nowhere. We're still in this uh, this uh, this uh, triangle here, and we're trying to break outside of this triangle. So we are right there. We are basically outside at the bottom. We can basically draw this a little bit better. We are basically there, testing the bottom of this uh, of this triangle. At this point, we are mostly going back towards the top. If we break below this, that opens the door to 1800, and 1800 opens the door to 75, uh, 1750, and then 1700. I'd be very surprised, uh, mainly due to the fact that there is going to be a massive stimulus bill coming just around the corner. So a massive breakdown from here, I don't think that's going to make a lot of sense, but just be aware if that is the case, if we break down here, and then we are going to go significantly lower. Uh, we have been trading into this corner for a very long time now, since the beginning of December. I thought this was going to be the breakout to the upside, but it was a false breakout, broke down again, and now we're trending into this corner yet again. And uh, my guess here, or what I expect to happen here, is that we'll break out and head towards 1900, and then 1950, and then beyond that. So, It'll be interesting to see, but uh, yes, be aware with gold. So let's look at silver. So as you can see, we have, uh, yes, we have been all over the place. Um, uh, the pump and dump strategy looks interesting, but however, it is not a viable uh, long-term strategy. This is not how you're supposed to trade. You should post, you're supposed to find major support and then buy with a stop loss underneath or find major resistant, then sell with a stop loss right above in order to lower your risk as much as possible and then take as much, uh, basically make the probability of being right as high as possible. This is just technically, uh, this is just chaos. And uh, people that are behind this know how markets behave. Um, probably also being the reason why they picked exactly this market is because this can be really volatile if you, um, if you start buying it or you start selling it. So it can be extremely volatile, much more volatile than, for example, gold. So they apparently pumped this market all the way up to uh, 40 30 and then they let go now it fell back towards support this is actually where we were supposed to go we were supposed to go gradually up to 27 27 break 27 and then go gradually up to to 30. Uh, so but at this point probably a lot of people lost a heck of a lot of money here because they were buying thought they were going to break this uh, price level here and then it just collapsed to the downside but 20 exponential is holding, 50 is an even better um, price level that it will hold. Stop loss right underneath here in order to, uh, if it were to break lower, but if it breaks significantly lower, we have the 200 moving average here. Otherwise, long-term target here, or the medium-term target, is $30. Uh, $30. So let's look at uh, our platinum. So as you can see, the, we are trading still above the 20 exponential. That is a good sign. As long as we are above the 20 exponential, we can go higher. Break below here opens the door to the 50. That is at the 1049. But a rally from here and a break of these previous highs of 1126, give or take, that opens the door to much, much higher levels. That looks like where we are going. It looks like the 20 exponential is holding significantly uh, but be aware, keep your stop losses at least underneath the 20 or underneath the 50 moving average if this turns to the downside. We can get moves like this. And uh, yes, that is a good idea to basically keep uh, have the stop losses then. 
technical indicators they are all turning to the upside slowly uh, but they are turning to the upside so let's look at pallium so as you can see we are just continuing this uh, sideways trade uh, we have the highest here of no sorry we have the highest here of roughly 2.5 and the bottom of 2.2 we have touched the bottom and now we're going towards the 20, 50. If that breaks, then we're going all the way to the very highs. That's how this has been trading for a very long time, all the way back to August when we started to trading sideways within the square. And uh, 200 moving average and 2.2 is definitely the bottom at this point and 2.5 is the top. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have tried to rally. We're still trading underneath the 20 exponential and the 50. It does not seem like aluminium has the same momentum as it did have in this move. It looks like we're drag, um, slowly going towards the 200 moving average. That is what it looks like. If we rally up towards the, two, uh, the 20 exponential and the 50 and get rejected there, then we'll jump all, uh, we'll be, um, pushed all the way down to 1932 and then to 1900. So keep an eye on this. Technical indicators are, are some of them are turning around, but otherwise it's flat and very bearish at this point. So let's look at nickel. So as you can see, we continue going lower here in nickel. I was hoping for this market to go down to the 50 and test the 50 or get very close to the 50 and turn around because that would be a, a major buying opportunity. Last time we tested of the 50 was here, here. We can see it here, we crossed it and also here. So in the past, it has been um, very supportive and uh, fairly reliable to uh, buy when we get close to the 50 or just underneath the 50 when we turn around, for example, in this area here. So that is what I'm waiting for. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for this. So it is very likely that we are going to go much lower in this market. So let's look at sugar. So we uh, broke down towards the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators, they are looking uh, much worse. Uh, MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is flat, the CCI is bearish and the RSI is bearish. But the 20 exponential looks like it is holding. We have pulled back when we a little bit at the end. We'll see tomorrow whether or not we are going to continue towards the 50 moving average. If we get close to the 50, and that should be major buying opportunities. Otherwise, the 20 exponential has been holding quite nicely in the past. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we are now ready to go higher in this market. Technical indicators are slowly turning the upside. We can see that the CCI is uh, going to pass minus 10. If it crosses uh, zero and heads towards 100, then that's a very bullish shine. Um, RSI is flat. The stochastic is flat. The MACD is basically bearish at this point. But the CCI usually moves faster than the other indicators. But And you can look at the one-hour chart, the four-hour chart, and determine when this basically turns around, especially the four-hour chart. But at this point, the target here is the previous highs of 0 0.8291. Uh, break below the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 50. So let's look at the cocoa. So it's just uh, more of uh, the same. So I've probably said this a thousand times now. Um, there is no reason to enter this market whatsoever. We're trading at the highs here of roughly 2.8 lows at 2.2 and we are basically right in the middle of all these moving averages and it's just completely chaotic we're actually trading in this middle here the highs of 2.6 and the lows of roughly 2.475 so if you want to trade uh, short term uh, with probably high leverage then yes this is probably a trade for you but this is not a trade that i like to to enter whatsoever so let's look at wheat 
So we broke down all the way down to the 50 moving average and then rallied significantly. A break below, above the 20 exponential that opens the door to, to uh, 669 and then to 690. This was a very encouraging sign that we are not going to break below the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, no, not the 20 exponential, but the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are still uh, bearish, so we could see some kind of choppiness or a retest of the 50, but this was a very uh, good indication that we're not going to go uh, break the 50 moving average. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.